Hello everyone, G-Dubs Collects here, and I am back with another video. And today we are going to have a Hanger Box Tops Baseball 2020 Series 2 and two Fat Packs. So what's interesting about this is I never noticed it, but this was purchased at Target, and it didn't have the Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, logo up there. So interested to see if this is just one of the generic ones like we opened up in our... Uh, hanger box review so we'll see we'll see what uh what what this holds in store but this was confirmed purchased at target um so let's dive right in and then we will uh open up these two fat packs right afterwards so i hope you guys are all having a wonderful wonderful week and uh hope all your family is safe and uh so that's going to be interesting. That is a decade's best St. Louis card that is reversed. I am really hoping for an autograph on that one. And if that is a Albert Pujols autograph, I will be very, very excited because Albert Pujols is a huge favorite of mine. Um, he's one of those guys that even though I am a Red Sox fan, um, that is just someone I have admired my whole life growing up because he came up Shogo rookie. Very nice. So we'll put that off to the side. Um, you know, I really got into baseball, uh, watching baseball back in 1999, uh, 98, 99. But 99 was really the kind of uh, cementing factor with the all-star game being at Fenway Park, uh, being a huge Red Sox fan, that was wonderful. Um, and everything about that all-star game, it's still one of the best around with Pedro Martinez striking out the first five of massive steroid users. <laughs> you know, it's really impressive when you look back on it. But um, those are the biggest hitters uh, at that time. And so that was really, really cool. Um, future stars, Kyle Tucker. So Albert Pujols coming up in 2001, that was like prime when I was a, a big fan. So I've always admired Albert Pujols. I think he is definitely one of my uh, favorite baseball players, definitely my favorite baseball player that doesn't play for the Red Sox. So that's uh, always been someone I need to add to my autograph collection, as you guys will find out soon enough when I finish my man cave. Uh, so that's interesting. That is also... JT Realmuto, that's also backwards, so I think I might be getting my my hopes up here. They might have just put them in backwards. Jackie Robinson, Turkey Red, Chrome. Very nice. Not numbered. But these were the exclusive cards in the, um, the tins, so that's interesting. So we've got just the team, so I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be autographed. we got a gold Chatwood. Decades best Cardinals. Nope, not autographs, just randomly backwards. And JT Raulmudo. Votto, Sandy Koufax, K rookie, and a Fernandez rookie. So I got a bonus, bonus tops chrome rookie in that. Or uh, bonus tops chrome turkey red of Jackie Robinson. Definitely not his rookie. But um, that's nice still. All right. I don't think that's a backwards card right there. I think that's just the backwards design of, of that. Yeah, it is. Okay. So obviously we're still looking for... Don't need that. Still looking for a uh, Luis Robert rookie in these cards. Haven't got one yet in the first pack. So obviously it's a lot harder to pull someone like Luis Robert in these packs because unlike a jumbo box like where you're pretty much guaranteed he's going to be in, in one um that although we've we've seen plenty of videos where you know none are pulled in a jumbo which is very frustrating because you spend that money on a jumbo you you want to get at least one of the best rookies so a little uh rainbow foil there nolan ryan with a little dinged up corner that's the uh issue you have with buying fat packs two nice uh turkey red one is the brewstar gratterall rookie which is nice 
All right, so let's see if we can get a Luis Robert out of this one. That would be wonderful. But, uh, oh, interesting. This one doesn't have the security tag in it. They were roughing it on this one. There is a couple turkey red in there, which is nice. Oh, so I kind of blew right past it. But, yeah, we did not get a Fernando Tatis Jr. insert in those hanger boxes. So that's very interesting. It's just kind of a generic... Uh, generic box so very strange so watch out for that when you're buying at Target um, I just kind of grabbed them because I looked at the condition and just assumed uh, the first one had it so I just assumed the rest of them had it but um, definitely something to watch out for especially if you're trying to collect that set as I am trying to do all right Juan Soto tops now is pretty much just a advertisement that's upsetting Ricky Henderson, Steve Carlton, Turkey Red, Will Clark, Colby Allard, Clint Frazier. That's it. Clint Frazier, another one of those guys that uh, will inevitably benefit from um, from the uh, rosters expanding and all that. But he had a real shot to break break camp with the team this year. So that was kind of upsetting for him. Sorry about that. All right. Well, there you go. Um, so just be careful of that at the, the hanger box. Unless you see the, uh, the Fernando Tatis Jr. insert there, then it will not be in there, even if you buy the target. So uh, very interesting. Could be just a distribution or a distributor issue. Maybe he grabbed the wrong case and put it up there in target, but uh, uh, something to watch out for. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GDubs Collects. And uh, let's keep this uh, wonderful tradition of baseball cards going. Let's uh, let's share share this with our, our kids and, uh, and kids in your neighborhood. And just buy people packs of cards and uh, keep the baseball card community alive and keep on collecting. Take care.